A Danbury is starting to lock back down after the city saw a sharp increase of COVID-19 cases. Mayor Mark Boughton tweeting this picture of a testing center earlier today. And as Fox 61's Brian Didlake reports, most restrictions will start Monday, so many residents were spotted outside enjoying a few more moments of summer before hunkering down for the next two weeks. The recent spike of COVID-19 cases in Danbury has put many on high alert, especially for those involved in youth sports leagues, which are set to shut down Monday around 6 p.m. But before that time comes, people we spoke to say that they will continue to play in the safest way possible. Before and after each game, coaches with the Danbury Storm softball sanitize everything from the bench to the highly touched areas. We just try to follow all the rules. We try to be as positive uh, of an influence and try to be as healthy of an influence. It's all about the kids. On Friday, the city of Danbury issued a health alert after the area saw alarming rates of positive COVID-19 infections. Between August 2nd and the 20th, the city saw at least 178 new cases, which health experts say is a sharp increase over the previous two-week period where only 40 new cases were reported. It's the reason why youth leagues and parents are being so cautious, especially for those who are from out of state coming to compete. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Gotta, gotta, you have to sanitize everything. You gotta shower. You gotta, I don't know, you just gotta be aware. You gotta be conscious of everything. The city's health department is urging residents to limit large outdoor gatherings, stay clear of places of worship, and stay home as much as possible so numbers can dip back down. Listen, I mean, you know, these things happen, you know, and it's, it's you know, you, you got to play by the rules, and if you do all the right things, I think the numbers will go back to where they need to be. Even folks at Western Connecticut State University were affected by the spike. In a letter to the WCSU community, effective Saturday, no students will be allowed on campus for two weeks except for those already on campus who the university urges to remain on campus until students are let back on. The letter also says classes will start on August 26. The school saying, we hope to return to the regular schedule as soon as it's safe to do so. Residents say the sudden halt for many activities due to the COVID spike is sad to hear, but it's not surprising. People have been cooped up in their houses for months and months, and people's going back to school. So a lot of I know there's a lot of people probably getting back together with friends before they go off to college, and that's probably one of the reasons why the spike is going on. Health officials urge everyone to answer the phone when experts call for contact tracing, and if you don't feel well, make sure to get tested as soon as possible. In Danbury, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News.